afternoon everybody well we're back again in the kitchen so today i'm going to be making a steak and ale pie so i've got all my ingredients um to do today so we've got because of the small cloves cloves of garlic i've just got a couple of garlic cloves vegetables i've got a carrot i've got the mushrooms which is about 75 grams of mushrooms again because it's the only small onions i've got two small onions but if you've got a large one use a large one we've got the puff pastry i'm cheating today ready roll puff pastry it's easy, so much easier it? to use uh -huh. um, i've got the the beef stock cubes to make um 200 grams of stock diced extra lean mince like the same i've got the low calorie one i said well three percent fat but if you want a more fatty one you can get that to be fair everything else is fat them. I've got some flour which is to coat the steak with and then I've just bought a cheap ale to go in so use 200 mils of that so me and Paul will fight over what's left. <laughs> what's left? So it's steak, steak and ale pie isn't it? Steak Can and I ale pie. Just show we thank our John for getting us for you guys for Christmas we've got one each <laughs> if you look at the, <laughs> the penny. penny. Mrs Rowan cooking the easy way. <laughs> and then Paul's Got his look, Mr. Rowan. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case we forget who we are. <laughs> Cook and easy, we have TV. So we're going to chop some veg. I'm going to get Paul to help chop some of the right, veg. Right, I'll for chop us. some, I'll peel some of the veg and, and get chopped we'll for you. Back. And then we'll crack on with the rest of it and you can get cooking. So this is uh, a steak and ale pie, but it's a pie topper, isn't it? Yeah, so um, I haven't gotten that too. I'll get the, the pan out so you can see. Just have a look at these the ingredients pan. again while girls get the pan out. Putting the pan I was there, she's making that much noise. <laughs> so that's just the pan that I'm going to use. It looks looks dirty, but it's not, it's just the colour of the pan. So the steak and uh, the ingredients will go in the bottom and then the pastry over the top. Will go so over it's like the a pie top, top so sort like of pie, thing, isn't it? Pie pie crust one. I crust one I. We've had it many a time I and it is delicious. No bother. We've right, so we'll crack on and get some of these chopped then. What are you cutting? Yeah. Right, so we've got a little bit of garlic here. Um I'll just get the water. it. We're a bit short of garlic at the moment, we've run out of the garden. The new stuff will not be ready for a long time yet, so we need to get some from the shops. Um, but I've chopped this bit up here. Um, we've also got some garlic granules, so if Gail needed some extra garlic in it, I'm not sure she does or not, we can get the garlic granules in it as well. So we'll just uh, push that down a little bit there, and then we'll just get that a chop. If garlic's not your taste and you don't have to put it in, but we do, we do like the garlic, don't we? Mm -hmm. So that's up there. Girls chopping our carrots across there. Now a little bit of garlic, push that across that side, and we'll get these onions chopped. Right, we've got our onions peeled there. Um, all we're going to do with onions, we're going to chop them nice and roughly, and we want them quite large because we don't want them resting away at nothing when we're uh, getting them in the pie. We want to taste a little bit of onion in there anyway. So. We'll keep them, keep them quite large-ish. Onion goes nice for the steak. There we go, onions chopped. So we'll crack on with these now. We'll just get our mushrooms chopped. So the bigger ones we're just going to quarter-ish. Smaller ones we're just going to half. Um, see it. Not being particular about them, just chop them quite rough. As long as you've got a little bit of substance left in the pie when it's done. So that's our mushrooms done there. We're going to get them on a the plate. We've got a little bit of garlic, plus garlic granules if needed. We've got our carrot, and we've got our onion there. Girls just going to just get just them on a the plate there now, keep them all together. Because they all go in the pan once we've seen the beef. Once off and stuff. I'll just put the garlic in. There you on the side. All together. Good. Right, I'm going to do the beef stock now, ready when we've put the, the meat. So I'm just going to measure out 250 mils of water. You've got the boiling water of the kettle. Yeah. I've got the 250 mils. I use two beef stock cubes, but it's entirely up to you. Some people just use one, but it just makes it nice and beefy. So then we're going in. If you've got the time, you can get that. Good proper beef stock from the thingy that's already mm -hmm. like uh, like a liquid, like a jelly mm -hmm. liquid, which would work well. But 
If you're just doing it easy, you might as well just crack on date yeah. like this, won't you? So I'm just going to mix that together to get that, that ready. And then I've got me, I'm going to measure this out next. So with the ale, it's 200 mils of the ale. So I'm just going to get that measured out ready as well. So I've got everything ready. Once the beef's actually quartered and seared, everything, all the other ingredients just goes in the pan. I'm just going to measure the ale out now. It's just a cheap brown ale, isn't it? It's not even a strong brown ale, I don't think it's just a cheap Doesn't brown ale. It's just ale, it's, it's, it's just, it adds to the flavour. It's flavor. just the flavour, isn't so it? There's a 200 mils, I mean, it doesn't, it's not a lot there. So that's all the ingredients which now get added at the end. So I'm now going to crack on with the beef, doing the meat. Right, so now in into the bowl, I'm just... You can measure it if you want, but I'm just literally putting some flour. You can always add to the flour. So it's just plain flour, because this is just to coat the meat. Do you add salt, pepper, anything at this point no, or not? You add the salt and pepper until you're about ready to put it in the oven. Right. That's when you add the salt and pepper. So I'm just adding the, the meat. Nice now. thick chunks, yeah. Looks nice, looks lovely. Right, I'm just going to coat right, it. So you're just coating the meat. So you can add more. If you need more flour, you can add more. I think there'll be plenty there. Pretty good, yeah. And then I suppose that helps to brown it and everything, doesn't it, when you're, uh -huh. you're saving it off and stuff? Yeah, and then it goes in the pan. And yeah, save it off in the pan. So come over the hob now, doing the next bit. So we've got our pan there. So I'm just going to switch. Moving on. I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of oil in. I suppose if you were making a lot bigger pie, you could use this as anywhere. You could cook it all in there and put that straight in the oven with the cast iron sort of tagine, couldn't you? You could, like I mean, if you make yeah, a bigger pie. The, I mean, you could easily put a pie crust yeah. on the top of that, but it's going to be it's too big. It's bigger, deep as well, isn't it? It's a big, yeah. deep pie, that. But mm -hmm. you if you've got a smaller could. one, we've got a smaller one the motorhome, haven't we? Aye, aye. That would be aye. ideal as well. You could do that well, and then just... If you had a lot of people and you were doing, like, um, you were doing the same pie, but you could do, like, a, like a steak and ale, but with vegetables in as well. Mm -hmm. So you could pack the whole... Like mm -hmm. tagine and everything out with vegetables as well as the steak and everything, then cover up with a pie. Well, that's it. I mean, well, we're just you? using carrots, we're using carrots and mushrooms. But if you don't like mushrooms or carrots, you could replace it with something and, else. Yeah, I yeah. suppose it's whatever yeah. you, you want in. You don't yeah. even have to have any vegetables in. You could well, just see, the quite it's deep as well, so you would need loads of filling to fill that, wouldn't you? So that's I'm just putting the beef in now, straight in out of the jar, out of the bowl, starting the sizzle. And we're just going to sear the, the meat. So once once it's seared and sealed, that's when you put the other ingredients in. And we're just sizzling now. Turn this down a little bit. Looking good. The idea now is just browning it off. Yeah. Right? So you, you, your flowers sort of took the oil up a little bit, haven't mm. it, as well? I think you just see them the beef now. See the colour change on a little bit now, can't you? I want it to be like a golden brown. It's looking good. It's looking good, yes. So it isn't a quick meal to do, it does actually, the, once once you've seared your meat and you put your veg in, you actually simmer it for an hour and then it goes in the oven for a further sort of 30 minutes or so. Um, Just to make the meat really tender as well, isn't mm -hmm. it? I mean, it, uh, it, it is um, diced beef, so it does need to be cooked quite slowly. And then you're going to get that lovely tender beef, succulent. When you see when it like this, you're going to keep the juices in as well, so it's going to be nice, nice and juicy in the middle. Mm -hmm. When you see when it off like that, but cooking it really slow, just simmering on here, then in the oven, 
it's going to make it so so tender isn't it yeah absolutely melt in the mouth delicious that's looking good hey this wife of mine <laughs> well you have to it's, have the uh, leftovers well you've got to try it haven't you uh -huh. shave the waist cheese, cheese while we're waiting for the big ears <laughs> <laughs> It's not bad, the cheap. Yeah. Have a look at this. I can smell it now. Can you smell there? The beef coat and I can smell there. The, the beef now. Really nice. Coming on a tree. It's more or less. It's golden brown there nicely. There's a couple of bits that need to stay it off, isn't it? That one there, yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Right, so that's ready now, nicely. Golden brown. So yep. I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients now. So, and all our ingredients, then mushrooms, carrots, garlic, onions. Just add that all to the pan now. Fine. Could you add any herbs or anything if you want to do? We we you not bothered about any in no, this year? Um, Time goes really nice, nice with the tea. Nice, either a sprig of thyme or. Yeah, a sprig of thyme or some dried thyme, thyme or dried thyme. with the herbs would be nice. Mm -hmm. And thyme would go really well with. But, Sounds good. But yeah, and you don't season it so you add your salt and pepper at the end. Was that, after what's that, your eel? That's that? the eel gone That's in. the eel gone in now. And now I'm going to add the beef stock. So it all goes in the pan now. Lovely beef stock. Give our mix up and then bring that so back to a simmer. Right, so you got to oh, so you just up the mm. simmer, not do you boil it and then down or just I'll simmer just, I'm just going to turn it up a little bit to start simmering, then I'll turn it down and then lid on. And once it's simmering, you add the lid on yeah. and you just simmer it for an hour. So, like I say, this bit takes quite a long time, um, but it'll definitely be worth it. Oh, it'll be so tender the meat once it's cooked like that. Mm -hmm. It just really it just melts in your mouth, doesn't it? When you when you cook it like that, so yeah. slow and just simmer the way. Right, so that's it it's simmering now. You can hear it simmering away nicely. I'll probably turn it down just a tad now because it's the the smell. Aye, the smell of the, the ale, the, the juice is, is lovely, and I mean that is just going in now. So delicious. Can't wait. So I'm just going to turn that down a little bit and then put the lid on. And like I say, that simmers for an hour. So come back after the hour. And then see you the next bit. See you in a bit. Right, so we're going to serve all piles. We've just got these small there. Potatoes here. So we're just going to quarter them. And we're going to cook them away, boil them, just half that one. We're going to boil them down, get them in the pan, boil them down, and then we're just going to get some peas and some sweet corn, loose sweet corn, and just serve the pie, the potatoes, the peas, and the sweet corn all together. So we'll get these in the pie. The no, pan. we'll not be getting them in the pie, we'll be getting <laughs> these in the pan, so they're ready to cook off. So we've got a little potatoes in the pan there, we're going to add a little bit of salt pepper in them, and then we'll get cracking on them, get them turned on when the pie is nearly ready and get them nice and soft and then we'll add the peas and sweet corn on the top just steam them down to serve with them right halfway through cooking just gonna lift the lid and just give it a little bit of a stir oh that it smells delicious it and you can see the gravy starting to thicken a little bit as well as it's reducing down not my mouth water absolutely gorgeous that we'll looks have to wait a bit longer paul <laughs> Aye, that's gonna be it. Be so tender. Mm -hmm. Coming on a treat. Right, so the, the pie filling is just it's just about done while well, it is done now, so I'm I'm preparing the pastry and everything. So I've just in in there I've just cracked an egg and whisked it whisked it? Whisked it up. That is that's just to brown the pastry. Probably pastry. I've got some so flour. Come on the top of the pastry with that. Right, it just, it just aye, makes aye, it a aye. nice colour. Yeah. Flour obviously so I can roll my pin out, my 
Pull your pin out. <laughs> pull your pin out. I'll pull my pin out. Roll my pastry out with a rolling pin. And I've just stuck the oven on. Ours is a fan assisted oven, so it's on 200 degrees. If it's not a fan assisted, then 200 degrees. Well, ours is on 200. 220. 220 if it's not fan. 220 if it's not and fan. 200 assisted. if it's yeah. fan. Well, 190, 200, you said, didn't you? I saw. Mm-hmm. So I'm just. Just getting me, I'm flat on my board. I see that the filling's ready just to put in there now, but I'm going to... This shop bought stuff's just as good as out, though, isn't it? Like the air. Uh-huh. I that mean, cut pastry takes a lot of pastry, doing because you've got to, you, you haven't got to handle it. You often um, make that, uh, what's the other one you make? Short, short crust. crust pastry. I always do that myself yeah, rather than buy it. But this one, you've got to, you've got to keep, if you make it yourself, you've got to have lard and keep adding lard to it, so... I'm just having a look because I don't actually need quite a bit there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Just need a knife. Let's have a look. I'll show you this. So, chef select ready rolled puff pastry. Uh, it just tells you a bit how to use it and what's in it and all that on the back. Let's just cut that now so she's cut the side from the top of our uh, pie dish thing. I'm going to pour it on my flowered board. So I'm just going to put that on the flowered board. Side. I'm just going to check. I'll roll it just a tad, tad more. It just needs. Right, I'll just thin it out and go a little bit longer and the leg bigger. So I'm just a little bit. See, it doesn't take much rolling out. That should be. And then, to, obviously, the size if you just pour it. That's perfect so you, you keep know. just keep that in the fridge and that'll do for that pierce you the the pierce you what's left what's left i'll have a look because well so i, I can make something with it i mean we've just bought this today it's don't got, know if you can it's freeze it or anything can you? you can freeze it uh, so well, see if you go in the fridge i suppose you if there's something you want to make you make something in the next few days couldn't you there, yeah I might make some of else with it yeah. on. I'll put it in the freezer and take it out when we want it. But yeah, I mean, that's ideal. I can see if what we want. Just the job on it. Right. I just need to get me. So, we'll have a quick look at this. While the girl's getting that stuff prepared there. I'll just have to grab a tea towel because I've just only burnt my fingers off on the top. <laughs> so there's that mix in there. Lovely, and that meat looks so tender and nice. Right. Right, so I'm just going to bring this over now. Under there. And I'm going to get that put in there. Delicious. Oh, yes. Your That's going to be steam. a pie and a half, that way. Lovely. <laughs> Your glasses are steaming up. <laughs> Steam. Steam. <laughs> Must be because I'm standing here next to your hot stuff. That must be your brown nail kicking in. Eh? That must be your brown nail kicking in now. <laughs> getting all that out there. Lovely. Just don't that on there because it's getting a bit hot. I'm just going to get the rest of this. Look at that. Mm-hmm. It's looking absolutely delish. I could eat it like that, mate. Just but, cook uh-huh, it like that. We, lovely put, mm-hmm. put a pie crust on the top. Oh, man. Right, so that's all in there. I'm going to put the last little bit in because it's ample weird. Get in there. On there, but that's oh, all. Yeah, just, definitely. I'll just get that out of the way. Right. Get me egg white, but I need to forget. Oh, yes, you've got your salt. You season it, it in the season it while it was in the pan. You season it before. Oh, again, you could add herbs, couldn't you, as well? Uh-huh. You want some herbs oh, in as well. Uh, like we were seeing er- earlier, the time goes well with it. Mm-hmm. Um, the parsley, basil, anything really. Mm-hmm. Anything you fancy, you'll put it in. And I'm just lovely. going to just egg wash. Right. Round the edges, just so the pastry's got something to stick on to. Right, so that's the egg wash. 
and I'm just going to get my pastry. Good. I'm just going to make little. Right, so you're just crimping it. Trim mm -hmm. a little bit there. Just on them corners, and I trim up a bit. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll come back here in a minute. Oh, the artistry's coming out of Gill now. What is it you're doing now, Gill? Making some little leaves just for decoration. You don't have to, but I'm just going to put some little leaves on. I've got a little bit, bit of pastry left of here, and it's a shame to waste it. Just and just with the edge, I'm just going to go like that. Just some little. Make me little leaves. Show you them. There you go. There's our little leaves there. And that one. The egg washing the whole lot of the top of the pie egg there, is it? The right. Nice golden colour. Alright, so that'll help there. Brown it up on that one, it's cool mm -hmm. and want it. The egg on the top. Could you so use milk as well? I was just going to say, sometimes I don't even do an egg, sometimes I just use milk when I made uh -huh. me. I think I've, the, if you look back on my past ones, I think I've done a ham and egg pie and I just use milk. Oh, you so use you don't milk have to egg. use I think egg. egg gives it a little bit. It does make it a little like bit little more like brown. brown. Like, but yeah, uh, but you can use the milk as well. I thought I'd seen you use milk before on, yeah. a, on one of the pies, eh? I'll come back once you're sticking the little leaves on. I'm just egg washing. Your little, little leaves, leaves. yeah. Going on there, so just to give a little oh, bit of decoration. I took that one away. Oh, twice. It's alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, that's me. Very good. Right, and then that goes in the oven. You manage? Can you well, just open the oven for it? Yep. Yeah. Let's get this stuck in the oven. So I'm just putting that in the oven now for about 20 30 minutes until the pastry is golden brown and then that's all ready to serve. Alright, while the pie's in now, we've got our little potatoes on there. I know I said I was going to steam the peas in the sweet corn, but we've just stuck them in the little pan now, just as easy at the moment. We've got them just warming through as well. Ready to serve with the pie when it's all ready. Let's give you a quick look at this. What's cooking we are in there? That pasty looks delicious. Fluffy. It's rising lovely. Come on, can I wait now? I'm starving. Right, that's a pie ready to come out the oven. Just switch the oven off there. I'm just gonna get it out now. Look at that one. See your fancy little leaves on the top as well there. Mm -hmm. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Lovely. Girl's gonna serve that out now. All potatoes are nearly ready. I like the pie oh, crust and yes. you can make it the meat. Look at that the one. Pie crust on the Take that pie crust off, it smells delicious. Oh, Rome's coming out there. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yes. Have a look at this. 
they've thickened up lovely. Oh yes, <laughs> looks delicious, <laughs> doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think you can come again, girl. Can I? <laughs> Let's get these taties now out ready, yeah? Yeah. Another quick look in now. Here we go. Girl's got them all served now, so let's have a look. Well, peas and oats, sweet corn there. Have a lovely little boily potatoes. And look at that pie crust and that pie. Look at the meat in there. Tender. Delicious. Girl's got exactly the same on hers there. Now it's time to eat. Give it a try, everybody. Gail will be back in the kitchen soon, won't you? I certainly will. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get, get out and do some more bacon. So I do like the pies and the cakes and stuff like that. Give it a go, everybody. That looks absolutely delicious. We're going to have our tea now. So we'll catch you all soon. Please check all the videos out. Help us out. Look at the back catalogue of videos and give it all a try. Cook the easy way TV. See you all soon. Bye now. Bye. Bye.